Today we're in Ezekiel chapter 20. And you know, as I read through this chapter, it kind of reminds me of a conversation I had with my friend named Daniel, who lives in San Diego. I must have been 19 years old. And I remember a phrase that Daniel shared with me. He said, Neil, God's past faithfulness in your life demands your present trust. And that was a pivotal season for me in my life. And as I considered what God had done in the past, it gave me strength, it gave me resolve, it gave me faith to trust him for my next steps. And as you read through Ezekiel 20 today, here's what you see. You see a recounting of Israel's history, a history of rebellion, but you also see a promise of God's restoration. Let me give you an example by just reading a little bit from this chapter. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation, starting in verse 42. Then when I have brought you home to the land I promised with a solemn oath to give to your ancestors, you will know that I'm the Lord. You'll look back on all the ways you defiled yourselves and will hate yourselves because of the evil you've done. You will know that I'm the Lord, O people of Israel, when I have honored my name by treating you mercifully in spite of your wickedness. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. God is good. Allow his past faithfulness to guide where you are presently. And today, walk by faith in a faithful God.